Hope everything everybody's doing well. Let's just give people a few minutes to jump on here. So I wanted to bring the group something that we've been using a lot and I think will be helpful for a lot of artists as they're um, building out their career and organizing their career. So uh, I want to talk about something called the bowling hack. This is about mapping your next six moves. So you may remember recently we talked about the Coppola principle. This is the idea of making your days where Francis Ford Coppola when he was in pre-production for The Godfather, he sliced up the movie into 60 pages. And on each page, he put that into a folder to where, as he was making the movie, I guess as he was back in the hotel at the end of the day, he would look and go, okay, yeah, day seven. Yep, got it. Day eight. Yep, got it. And it gave him really a compass to really have clarity that he was completing what he needed to complete. So the film had tons of issues. There were technical issues. There were people issues. There were financial issues. I think he even was almost focused, or was almost fired two or three times during the filming of it. So he had an important tool that really helped him stay in front of his project uh, and really got The Godfather made. So the Coppola principle really goes hand in hand in what I want to talk about today and really give you a tool that really serves as an entry point for artists who are beginning to understand and use strategies they're building and completing more projects within their career. So a common problem for artists um, can be that they get tricked, they get stuck in a loop. This could be just the songwriting loop or the creative loop or the practicing loop. It's that fun thing that you can do with your eyes closed. You want to do it all the time, right? It's that fun, sexy, creative stuff. Um, and as artists are responsible for more and more things, um, tools like this are becoming more and more essential in adding clarity and sanity for artists as they are building. So what's really cool, force multipliers like this help you do a couple important things. One, it protects you from getting stuck in that creative loop. Um, to where you're just doing your creative thing and, and maybe you're avoiding building the platform and the business side of your business that strengthens and supports that creative thing. Number two, it helps you stay on offense. It helps you track your projects like Coppola. You know, it's like day seven, yep, got it. Day eight, got it, yep, got it. Um, and thirdly, it allows you to be two places at the same time, much like Coppola where he, you know, he had to be have a strategic eye on where he was going as well as cutting the dang movie. So he was. it allowed him to be two places at the same time and have clarity there. And maybe most importantly, it integrated and locked the strategy with the execution. Day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. It allowed him to get the thing done. So here's how it works. So you may remember something called bowling back in the day. I think they still they still have bowling places, maybe. So Chime in and tell me if you if you know bowling places here. So this is a set of bowling pins, right? Where the idea is that you focus on this first one, you hit one, and then pin one kind of hits the two behind it, and then the two hit the three, and the three hit the four. So the physics work like this. It's a mechanism to move things forward. It's kind of like dominoes, where you aim for one and you get ten. Okay? So how this applies to the hacking music system um, we're going to use this as a leverage tool for getting things into the world. Uh, we're going to turn this into a game. So the bowling hack looks like this, much like our bowling pins, right? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about an important project that you're considering taking on. Um, and I want you to break it down into six stages. This could be something like mapping out your year or, or a uh, new e-commerce promotion or a book or a film, hundreds of different uses. You can kind of pick what you want, but I want it to stretch you a little bit. I want it to intimidate you and I want it to make you sweat a little bit, okay? Um, so after you break it down into six stages, I want you to add your six stickies to the sheet. And you can email me and I'll send you this, this graphic PDF if you like. Um, and a couple things I want you to watch out for. One is that each of the six stickies, they have to be completable. Okay, uh, they have to have an endpoint to where they are done done, as we call it in the lean music methodology. Uh, and secondly, it, it's the idea of sequencing the pins. You have to order the pins to where 
These have this gets done before these two, before those. Okay, so it's kind of linear in a sense, right? And thirdly, I want you to pin this to your wall in a place where you can see it every day. I want you to use it to focus your time, your resources, and your work on an important project. Okay. Some examples we've recently recently uh, used this for venture capital campaigns, uh, product launches, fundraising, record production, marketing campaigns, digital product products, books, films, e-commerce launches. There's a lot of different uses that, where we've used this. And here's where it shines. So as your career grows, each project should kind of intimidate you a little bit and then stretch you a little bit. Um, you definitely don't want to be doing the same thing over and over and not stretch yourself. So um, you may remember uh, the idea of shifting gears where uh, developing baby artists down here um, that was the kind of bottom gear and then they had deploying artists here and now we have dominating artists up here so as you shift gears throughout your career tools like this will be absolutely essential and this is just this is just a toe in the water compared to what we do in the hacking music system so um and lastly remember francis you know he pulled off the greatest movie what some consider to be the greatest movie in history by using tools like this um so let's learn from our past and not have to reinvent the wheel every time. Let's learn from the giants that came before us. So what I love most about this is yes, it gives you a visual representation and adds alignment for what you're completing. But more than that, it's fun. It's fun to see this on your wall and to kind of see the thing being completed. Um, and I will say this too, subconsciously, there's an interesting thing that happens here. I think it's called the theta stage to where um, your subconscious starts to work on things for you on, on and on your behalf in a sense. Um, so as you sleep, as you drive, as you, you know, are kind of checked out, maybe watching a movie, your subconscious kind of keeps working on this while you're not. I don't know how exactly it happens, but I know that it happens and that this um, tool really helps you get things into the world better. So to recap, this is a quicker view of the bowling hack. If this helps you, you're welcome to join us on our Facebook page where we drill down into more force multipliers, micro habits, and strategic frameworks like this for artists who are building their career in a real way, a low bullshit way. Um, for us, it's been super helpful in getting the clarity quickly across projects. So as you use this hack, I hope it focuses you, I hope it strengthens you, and really aligns you and your team to get better stuff into the world. Okay, we'll see you next time.